Hello, Lunar Child, and welcome to Friday. Well, I don't think you're really feeling the Friday boogie today, Cancer. Overcast with a chance of moodiness is my prediction today. That's because your ruling planet, the moon, is in your subconscious, the 12th house. So right now, you're more conscious of subconscious emotions than you are of conscious emotions. And most Cancers I know just say to me, I'm not feeling good today and I don't know why. And the Cancers sometimes are overwhelmed by emotion. They don't understand where it comes from. Well, right now, it's coming from your deep subconscious. You might have this playing out in dreams. You might find yourself cranky. And you might find yourself wanting to project on other people. So if something really makes you mad or really makes you sad, you've got to ask yourself, is this a pattern in my life? Because if that's the case, the universe is highlighting a weed in your soul garden. Take note of it. We've got to pull that damn thing at some point. Then something around the sun. We are in Chapter 3 of Sun and Leo. This month, Cancers are working on soul capital. What are you worth? What is your self-esteem worth? What kind of money do you deserve? How productive do you think you should be on the planet? Are you giving it all away, working your butt off for nothing? These are all the questions of soul capital. And now that we're in chapter three, it's time for Cancer to start coming up with a beta version of what your new price tag is going to look like. All right. And today with Jupiter ruling the day, the universe is saying to Cancer, think outside the box. So you may think that you have to marry a rich man to have money. Not true. You can go out and make your own money, or you can have a rich man and the money, or you can have a donation from somebody and a rich man and the money. There's a lot of ways to raise your soul capital, and the universe is saying to Cancers, get outside your box, think outside your box, because by understanding a plan B, plan A will get more concrete. Then lastly, Mercury. Mercury and Saturn are conjuncting through the weekend. That's a very good thing. That thing I think that that means that Cancers are finally beginning to make up their mind about what attitude their mind should take. You've been working on attitude and mind games and all kinds of worry booby traps and things like that for the last two years with Saturn and Virgo. And Cancers are coming out now. I think you're gonna get quite clear. You may not be able to execute the attitude all the time, but at least you'll know what the attitude you're aiming for is. So I think this is a really good sign. This is the beginning of the end of this long transit. There will be some rewrites and redrafting of what your attitude is gonna be and how your inner dialogue is gonna be. But at least now it's not foggy. All right, then one last thing. We've got the Feng Shui Guy live on the Mothership today. Another episode with Ariel Joseph Town. Ariel's getting really deep on reorganizing your space and your workspace so that it's set up for your success. So the energies in your home, which is very important to a Cancer, and even in your cubicle at work are set up for your success. And this success for you this month is raising that soul capital. So check out Ariel Joseph Town. I think he'll be of great service to you, Cancer. All right, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. I'll see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So